All right, now we're joined by a very special guest here on CBS 19 Sports. It's not every day. We have a bronze medalist hanging out with us on the show. It is Olympic champion Ryan Burrows of the Mixed Team Trap shooting event. And first off, Ryan, uh, congratulations on winning the bronze. And before we talk about that medal, my first question for you is just talk to me about the experience of having a chance to go over to Tokyo, compete, and just how different it was uh, to go over there during a pandemic during the Olympics. Well, first off, thanks for having me on. And um, it was such a great experience. You know, I've been shooting and competing internationally and representing the United States since I was 15 years old. And uh, it's been a, a great experience, but the games is, is different. It's the world's largest stage, right? You know, you have the best athletes from the, all the sports in all the countries right there. And growing up, you think it's going to be one thing. And then when you get there and in this kind of pandemic situation, um, it's a little different. I'm not going to lie. It was a little quiet. Uh, at the village, there wasn't that interaction with the different countries or uh, even the, the different U.S. teams. You know, there's definitely interaction, but a lot of teams kind of kept to themselves as well. But regardless, it was still an incredible opportunity. I wouldn't change it for the world. I had so much fun, and it was great to just represent the United States. I haven't had an opportunity to talk to too many Olympians. You're on the uh, you're on the short list, but from what I've been told from others. They say that first moment at the opening ceremonies is usually kind of that moment where it hits you that I'm representing the United States on the Olympic stage. What was the opening ceremonies like for you personally? Yeah, absolutely. That is the moment. I can remember when I, in watching the opening ceremonies in 2004, I had a, a friend walking in it. And that was my aha moment. Like, I want to do that. I want to be that person someday. So when I walked through, you know, you, you go through the stadium and then there's there's the opening. You're, you go out there with Team USA, everybody's chanting USA. And it's just that moment where I've, I've arrived. I've made it, I'm that person. So let's talk about the bronze medal match. We, they talk about the term shootout. Usually we think of soccer shootouts, penalty kicks. We think of hockey shootouts. This was a shootout in the most literal sense of the term. And it's you and your partner, Matty Bruno, and it came down to quite literally sudden death shootout. And as I was watching the replay of it, you get up there with all the pressure in the world on you. It's as simple as if you hit your target, you guys are moving on. And if not, you're going home empty handed. What is the heart rate like at that moment? What is running through your head before you pull that trigger and you know this is for all the marbles? No pressure, Brian. You kind of have to have a little talk with yourself before you, you step up on the line just like any other target. It's just um, nothing's different. And to be completely honest, in the, during the final and during you know, the shoot off, the I was actually alive in the competition. pretty calm. My mind was pretty calm. I was Not able to all. stay pretty focused, so but first, you definitely get those thoughts going into your brain. Like amongst themselves in the this team. is that moment where you can take home some hardware. Second. This is that moment that you've thought about since you were 15. And at that point too, Either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. So I'm going out swinging. I'm not going out looking. So I, uh, I just let it rip. And then, and fortunate enough to get that first target. Well, Brian, over the last two weeks, I thought I had a pretty good two weeks. I won a $10 scratch ticket. You won a bronze medal at the Olympic stage over in Tokyo. Congratulations. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, thanks for bringing that medal back to Texas. And uh, don't be uh, coy with that. Show that off. No reason to be humble when you got yourself a medal at the Olympics. So, Brian, thank you so much for joining us today on CBS 19 Sports. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.